Jason from Solar Batteries Online, here with DeLuca from Prime Energy Group. G'day. And we're here to talk about the new Seed Energy product and do a bit of a review. So, um, DeLuca, when you commissioned this, I heard, we love Seed Energy. Yes. Tell, tell me about it. Yeah, look, from buying it, installing it, programming, monitoring, um, everything to do with it was easy, clean, Look how good it looks. Um, the monitoring, you can see everything that you want. This one it has four DC inputs from the solar. So it's a 25 kilowatt inverter. You can have a 200% oversizing. It's single phase, it's 200%. So 32 kilowatts of PV going into a 25 kilowatt three phase inverter. Yeah, so they start at five kilowatt single phase and there's a five kilowatt three phase and there's a six kilowatt single phase, but more coming soon, an eight and a 10 in single phase yep. in the next couple of months um, to be released. Um, and the three phase, they've got a five, 10, 15 and 25. Uh, the other great thing is you can parallel them. So you can just keep stacking these inverters. Um, in Spain, they just did 64 of these 25 kilowatt inverters all paralleled 64 of them yeah three megawatt hour <laughs> job so it can go huge so in most cases we don't need to um, residential do they stack next to each other yeah 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 so you have you can have eight batteries in the stack with one inverter six batteries six batteries per stack, per so, stack. Yeah. so these are eight kilowatt hour batteries. There is a five kilowatt hour battery module as well. Um, so you can mix those. So you could, you know, start with an eight and add on five to get 13 kilowatts or two fives for 10 or two fives and an eight for 18, whatever combination you want. But um, each stack max out at uh, six batteries. So six eights of 48 kilowatt hours of storage per inverter. But if you needed more than that, you could put two inverters. Yeah. And 96 kilowatt hours of batteries. So you can mismatch yeah. the inverters completely as well. So you can have a 25, and then if you want to get six more batteries and only get a smaller inverter, yeah, you, you can put, put a five a, in next to it. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is that they're competitively priced. Yeah. Um, and you were telling me about um, the monitoring, but the experience you had commissioning when. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the robot's so, telling you. <laughs> <laughs> so when we commissioned it, it does a full self-check of the PV, the battery, the AC, um, and the inverter. The, it came up with all ticks of OK, apart from the phase rotation. On line one and line two, it actually told us where in the, um, the backup box, which is this guy over here, um, where to swap the phase one and phase two lines over because whenever this board was wired up the electrician had the two phases wired back to front which is fine everything will run normally apart from potentially three phase motor might spin backwards yep to solve that the sig energy technology ai is it's yeah, ai integrated so so it did know. a full self check and told us where on the load side of the grid circuit breaker to swap around the two cables. We did it, turned it on, and all checks okay. Wow. <laughs> pretty That's, cool. That is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's a next level uh, product. It does have uh, blackout protection at um, a very high level, like a lot of our inverters, even inverters in the market that you would consider at the top end of the market. They crash your computers, there's, you know, 40, 90 seconds of out, outage where this has full uninterrupted power supply with zero millisecond changeover. So um, it's pretty good. We've switched off the grid here. Yep. Yeah, so we've got the grid completely off. The meter is actually off and not supplying any power. We have Garen's house full and lights and power on. Yeah, so Garen, the customer here, um, might like to add on to these batteries at some point, so um, that's easy done. Potential for 
at the moment he's got 24 kilowatt hours of storage um, he could double that easily so yeah so the yeah. way that these all stack onto each other is there's basically these covers on the side and on the top we take all well we only have to take off the top three lift up the inverter put three more batteries on top then stack the inverter straight on top of that and put the covers back on nice and the other thing that they've integrated is a bi-directional EV charger. So they've got a 12 and a half kilowatt and a 25 kilowatt hour bi-directional EV charger. Um, it's only legal in South Australia currently, but we hear that it's coming through nationally. Quarter three this year, we will be able to do bi-directional charging. So they're ahead of the game on that front. So the side jet batteries operate in a really wide temperature range. They do from all the way from minus 20 right up to 55 degrees, uh, which I think will really play a factor in the longevity of the batteries. They've got uh, things built in there, like they've got uh, insulated pads and gel layers to really control the battery temperature and keep it more stable in extreme Australian conditions. Um, for safety, they've also got internal fire extinguishers built in. They've got seven battery temperature sensors um, and they've got release valves in there as well. So yeah, um, really leading the way in um, safety and temperature range. The app's great. Well, one of the things I really liked actually, you can click on the inverter tab. There's just a little side arrow and it brings up all of the stats that's feeding into that inverter. So it gives you your battery percentage, battery voltage, string, PV voltage and current per string, um, which was actually really good to see. We tested it all before plugging it in, but from the roof, they were feeding two different inverters. So we had an inverter here and an inverter over here. So we removed both of those inverters and extended the PV strings to get into the SIG energy. So right now we're actually running completely off the grid. The solar is charging the batteries and the batteries and solar are supplying the house loads. Um, it can go, yeah, big, so we've got a lot of commercial projects. Um, the backup gateway has two versions. One is a home version with a generator input, um, and you can do it off-grid. So um, we've got some of our off-grid guys um, going out there and doing some bigger projects on the way. The, the gateways have a single-phase and three-phase version, but they also um, at the moment, they're custom building commercial gateways, um, but there will be commercial gateways off the shelf later this year, which will make it uh, price up even better. They'll do ones that'll take four inverters. Oh, wow. And ones that'll take six. At this point, it's two um, inverters per gateway. One of our off-grid guys is doing three of these 25 kilowatt inverters. He's doing 12 batteries but we needed to custom build a commercial gateway for him. So we'll do a video on that in the coming month or two. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very exciting product. It's the first, well, I haven't been that excited about a product in solar for quite a while, so 